good morning students today we are going to read the last chapter of the moments book the beggar written by anton shekhov now this beggar the story the beggar the story is about a drunkard you know a drunkard beggar named lashkov and sergey is an advocate gives him work at his house so that he can feed himself and stop begging though he agrees but he is not willing to work now the work given to him is done by olga olga is sergey's cook as she feels pity on his miserable condition all the works olga does for or lashkov now he goes to another place for work as recommended by sergey and becomes a notary a notary is like when they do some legal formalities you know a person who is authorized to perform some legal formalities like certificate contracts koi deed ya fir koi documents to he get, he get some work now sergey meets him after 2 years and he is very happy to know about his job new job he thinks that he is responsible for changing him but he tells him that it was olga's kindness it's not him it's not sergey but it was olga's kindness and unconditional help without any condition hai na she doesn't want any thing in return from the beggar lashkov so it was olga's kindness and an unconditional help that made him change his way so let's start kind sir have pity turn your attention to a poor hungry man for 3 days i have had nothing to eat i haven't 5 kopecks for a lodging i swear it before god for 8 years i was a village school teacher and then i lost my place through intrigues i fell a victim of clomy it is a year now since i have had anything to do now the opening lines are said by the beggar lashkov kind sir have pity mujh pe daya kijiye have some pity on me turn your attention to a poor hungry man please turn your attention pay attention on me because for 3 days i have nothing to eat I haven't eaten anything i haven't 5 kopecks for a lodging now kopek kopek is a russian unit hai na russian unit which is equal to 100th of a ruble so jaise india mein paise aur rupee hote hain like that ye five paise bhi mere paas nahi hai for lodging lodging means for temporary accommodation hai na jahan pe rehne ke liye paise deke hum we, we live there i swear it before god for eight years i was a village school teacher and for past eight years i was a school teacher and then i lost my place through intrigues intrigues means the people people Uh, made some conspiracy in a shardi and tarajke and they blamed me and they turned me out of the school i fell a victim to clomony clomony means means they it's defamation of character hai na wo jhoot bol bol ke mere character ko kya kiya wo log kharab kar diye and it is year now since i have had anything to do wo ek saal ho gaya i haven't got anything to do that book it sergey looked at the ragged fawn colored overcoat of the suppliant the suppliant means suppliant means a person who makes a humble request to someone so at his dull drunken eyes at the red spot on either cheek and it seemed to him as if he had seen that man this man somewhere before now sergey is feeling that he had seen this man had seen this man somewhere before 
I have now had an offer of a position in the province of Kaluga, the Merican went on. But I haven't the money to go get there. Help me kindly. I am ashamed to ask, but I am obliged to buy. Circumstances. So, mendicant means the beggar. So I have how, I have now had an offer of a position in the province of Kaluga. So in the province of Kaluga, the district of Kaluga, in the region of Kaluga, I have that offer. The beggar is saying, but I haven't the money to get there. So please help me kindly. I am ashamed to ask. This I am asking, I am begging, I am ashamed of this. But what I can do, I am obliged to be by circumstances. I have to do. Sarga's eyes fell on man's overshoes, one of which was high and the other was low, and he suddenly remembered something. An overshoes means a shoe worn over a normal size. Means apne size se kafi bada. So Sarga's eyes when felt on that man's the beggar's overshoes, one of which was high. And the other was low. He suddenly remembered something. Look here. It seems to me I met you the day before yesterday. In Sadovia Street. He said. But you told me that you were a student who had been expelled and not a village school teacher. Do you remember? So this beggar means for asking for begging. He repeatedly says, means he lies to everyone. You know? He lies to everyone just to ask. So he remembers the last, last day I met you, day before yesterday. I met you at Satovia Street. He said, but you told me then that you were a student. Today you are saying that you are a school teacher. Do you remember? No, 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 that can't be so. Mumbled the beggar. Now he is mumbling. Mumbling, you know, mum, murmuring, budbudan. Mumbled the beggar, taken aback. I am a village school teacher, and if you like, I can show you my papers. Have you done with lying? Ab ho gaya, jhoot bolna. Sargai, the advocate is saying, you called yourself a student and even told me that what you had been expelled for. Don't you remember? That day you told you were a student. And why you were expelled? That the reason also you gave me. Don't you remember? Sargai flushed and turned from the racked creature with an expression of disgust. Disgust means? Disgust means a feeling, you know, a feeling of dislike for someone. So, he was feeling that he is lying to everyone. So, he doesn't like Sargai. This is dishonesty, my dear sir, he cried angrily. This is swindling. Swindling means cheating. I shall send the police for you, damn you. And he's saying that I uh, will send police. Sir, he said, laying his hand on his heart. The fact is, I was lying. I am neither a student nor a school teacher. All that was fiction. Fiction means Fiction, that is not true, hai na? that is not true. So he says, the fact is, I was lying. I am neither a student nor a school teacher. All that was fiction, nothing to do with reality. Formerly, I sang in a Russian choir and was sent away for drunkenness. Matlab, bohat pita tha wo. He had a habit of Intoxication means nasha karne ka adat. But what else can I do? I can't get along without lying. No one will give me anything when I tell the truth. What can I do? If I say truth, no one will give me anything. So how will I survive? What can you do? You ask what can you do? What you can do? Cried Sergei, coming close to him. Work! That's what you can do. You must work. 
इंस्टेड ऑफ बेगिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ समन यू कैन वर्क काम कर सकते हो तुम वर्क यस आई नो दैट माई सेल्फ बट वेर कैन आई फाइंड वर्क ओके आई माई सेल्फ आई नो दैट इफ आई वर्क आई विल बी पेड समथिंग बट वेर कैन आई गेट दिस वर्क How would you like to chop wood for me? Sarga is offering a work. How would you like to chop wood for me? I wouldn't refuse to do that. But in these days, even skilled woodcutters find themselves sitting without bread. Now again, he is giving a reason, you know, just to a bahana banara. I wouldn't refuse to do that. Okay, I'll chop wood for you. But in these days, you know, even the skilled woodcutters, you know, those who those who know experienced woodcutters, find themselves sitting without bread. They are also not getting work. Will you come and chop wood for me? He says, "Yes, sir. I will. Very well. We will soon find out." Sir, guy, hasten along. Hasten means to move quickly. Rubbing his hands, he called his cook out of the. kitchen and sergey calls his cook here olga olga is the cook he said take this gentleman into the wood shed and let him chop wood so take this gentleman to the wood shed and give him some work give him work of chopping the wood the scarecrow of a beggar shrugged his shoulders the scarecrow means means a person who is very badly dressed and odd looking weird of beggar shrugged and as if in perplexity and went irresolutely after the cook it was obvious from his gait that he had not consented to go and chop wood because he was hungry and wanted work but simply from pride and shame and because he had been trapped by his own words it was obvious too that his strength had been undermined by vodka and that he was unhealthy and did not feel the slightest inclination for toil now so shrugged shrugged means means bad clothes hai na he was shrugged the scarecrow 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 means a person who is very uh, badly dressed and odd looking and perplexity perplexity means inability to deal hai na uh, without understanding something means he is very confusion confusion means confusion and irresolutely so irresolutely means um, he is hesitant you know showing the feeling of hesitancy so he was hesitant so the scared sukro of a beggar shrugged his shoulders as if in perplexity and went irreso- irresolutely after the cook it was obvious from his gait gait means from his walk that he had not consented to go and chop wood because he was hungry and wanted work but simply from pride and shame as because he had been trapped by his own words he said that i want work you know where will i get work and he is giving work so it's not that he wanted that work but because of pride and shame he's trapped by his own words it was obvious too that his strength had been undermined by vodka and that he was unhealthy and did not feel the slightest inclination for toil so he did not want to do sergey hurried into the dining room from its windows one could see the wood shed and everything that went on in the yard so sergey hurried into the dining room and from there he would see that beggar lashkov that what he is doing is he working properly or not so standing at the window sergey saw the cook and the beggar came out into the yard by the back door and make their way across the dirty snow to the shed olga glared wrathfully at her companion so he is staring at her. olga the cook shoved 
him aside with her elbow, unlocked the shed and angrily banged the door. So, Olga glared wrathfully at her companion. Companion, who is the companion here? The beggar, Lashka. Shoved him aside. Just moved, moving aside. As a side kar dena. With her elbow, unlocked the shed and angrily banged the door. Next, he saw the pseudo teacher. Pseudo? Not genuine. The false teacher. Seat himself on a log and become lost in thought with his red cheeks. Resting on his feast. Means just keeping his fist on his cheek. The woman flung down an ask at his feet. Spat angrily. Spatting means? Means this is past tense of spit. Just to show some anger. And judging from the expression of her lips began to scold him. The beggar irresolutely pulled a billet of wood towards him, set it up between his feet and tapped it feebly with the axe. The billet wavered and fell down. Now what does billet mean? Means Here it, is, it means a thick piece of wood. The beggar again pulled it to him. Blew on his freezing hands and tapped it with his axe cautiously as if afraid of hitting his overshoe or of cutting off his finger, the stick of wood again fell to the ground. So now he started his work and now his, he started chopping the wood. But he is, we can say that he, he don't want to work, he is forcefully working as he is trapped on his own words. I want to work and now Sergei has given him work. So, he is not doing it properly because the thick piece of wood is continuously falling and he is afraid. He is also afraid of hitting his overshoe or of cutting off his finger. So, thank you students. So, after this, we will read in the next class. Okay. Thank you.